Jones. Some people living in Elkhart County say stray cats are out of control, and they say the Humane Society has something to do with it. WSBT's Rachel Lake joins us from the Update Center with more on this tonight. Rachel? Jen, the Humane Society is right across the street from the Timberbrook Mobile Home Park in Bristol. The shelter used to have drop boxes where people could leave unwanted pets, but due to the, sh due to the sheer volume of animals abandoned there, they closed the boxes. Now, Timberbrook neighbors say people are still dumping their animals, sometimes outside the shelter, sometimes in the park. This is Salem. Salem is one of four stray cats them, Amber um, Hibbard has taken into her Timberbrook home. They were just babies and they seem to be abandoned. Hibbard feeds 15 to 20 feral cats a day. These poor kittens and these cats are dying. They're not given a chance and they deserve so much better. Neighbors say people dump unwanted animals in this area because there are no longer drop boxes at the Elkhart County Humane Society. But the shelter's director says they've actually seen a decline in abandoned animals. She says if people at the mobile home park want to continue feeding the cats, they should go a step further by neutering or spaying the animals. I see up to 15 to 20 cats in my own porch. How could I ever afford to spay and neuter all of them? And that's where the Elkhart County Feral Cat Coalition comes in. The nonprofit documents the stray cat population and helps with the trapping, neutering, and return process, or TNR. It's a proven method. Um, a lot of places that have done it have seen 40, 50 plus uh, percent reduction in their shelter intakes their shelter euthanasia rates. But before they can go into private neighborhoods, they need permission from property managers and owners, which at Timberbrook, they do not have yet. We could all work together. You know, we could help these animals in a humane way. The Elkhart County Feral Cat Coalition says it hopes to work with all of the county's mobile home parks to reduce the feral cat population. Right now, it's just a matter of contacting management and getting approval. If you have a problem with stray cats in your neighborhood, just check our website, WSBT.com, for information on the coalition. Reporting from the Update Center, Rachel Lake, WSBT Channel 22 News.